So me and the boys are going back down to O'Reilly's to see if this alternator is good or not. And because it's not charging again. So if it's good, then I need to figure something out. And maybe the the regulator's not kicking on, so I gotta take one of the wires and put it to the positive terminal in the back of the uh, alternator. But if it's bad, then I'm gonna do that, add ohm resistor in. But let's go make sure this is good or not, and then let's try it again. I got the alternator fixed. Ground that, put the uh, new transmission fluid in. Drive shaft is in there. Drain the oil right now, doesn't look bad. Here's the plug to focus. Doesn't look bad. I don't see anything sparkly or glittery, so we're good. So let that drain out, and then we'll go ahead and put a new one in and see how uh, it runs. All right, first things first, uh, put new oil in it, um, transmission fluid. I wired up the trans brake, so I'm going to test that. I don't have the Holly set up for the RPM, so all I'm doing is just doing it just so I can get in the reverse. So let's see if that clicks on and off, and then uh, we'll start it, run through the gears, recheck the oil, recheck the transmission fluid, and be on our way. All right, let's go run through all the gears.
right, so as you guys saw, drove it up here. Just gonna put some uh, like five gallons of UD5 in it. Um, it's definitely towed and cambered pretty bad, so it's shaking it's back and forth. I also need to raise it up because it's <laughs> leaning forward. So we gotta fix that as well, but that's not a big deal. But the next thing I wanna do is get a, uh, I gotta get a trailer, take this to alignment, clean some stuff on the inside there, so it's done. But you know what? Let's go drive this thing around and just have fun. Maybe we'll do a burnout, maybe it won't. Let's go see. I did it I got it to work that is awesome and then also all of the data log and the inside like all the temperatures and stuff like that was great there was no problems you know what the next thing is to do I'm gonna go drive this thing down to the gas station and drive it back so I can go through all the gears yes! <laughs> so that was from when the snow badger had the small block Ford and those is when it has the turbo LS and man does it light them up fast all right i'm gonna go drive i'm not gonna film too much of the drive because i want to pay attention to the afrs and all that so let's go ahead and do this i'll let you guys know how it goes when i get down to sunoco all right it's doing pretty good everything's looking good definitely needs an alignment this thing's pulling all over the place yeah all of it looks good so far It's like pulling me all over the place. I need to get this to a shop to get a line. We'll see if you guys can hear a little blow off valve. on my eye jeez but what i was gonna drive back the battery died for some reason so let me see if that charging system is not working or the battery's starting to go or something but let's go ahead and 
figure that out. Don't forget to subscribe for more Snow Badger content. And just like that, we are back here. We're gonna go and get it started, park it in the back, and then uh, we'll figure out everything else. Stay tuned, we're gonna get this thing dialed in even more. So go ahead and subscribe and follow the build for me for more Snow Badger. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.